We're on part three of what may be the never-ending dollhouse project. Welcome to The Sewing Report, I'm Jennifer Moore, helping you discover your love of sewing crafts and DIY projects. As you know, I've been building a beach house bungalow by Real Good Toys, and this is literally taking me forever, but I finally have reached the part to sand and paint all the pieces. And I haven't even painted and sanded like even half of the pieces because there's like a gajillion little ones, but I'm focusing on the larger ones. So yeah, the sanding, I'm not gonna lie, took me a really long time. At first I started doing it in here, which was a terrible idea. I figure, you know, hey, I've got some paper over the table. It, it won't be too bad. No, it was really bad. There was dust everywhere. No, I don't recommend that at all. Do not sand indoors. Make sure you're in like an outside space or maybe your basement. Just make sure to have some sort of dust filtration system because this stuff gets intense. So I took it outside in the balcony, put some paper down there, and that worked out a lot better. There was a lot of sanding. I used some sanding blocks. I got some from Home Depot and some from Dollar Tree. In fact, I got a lot of my supplies for this from Dollar Tree, paint brushes, a little like paint set that came with a mini roller, lots of things. Dollar Tree is a great place to go. For the paint, I chose a few different colors. I decided to do the outside a light pink and do some of the walls inside a combo of white, sort of an aqua color and navy blue. For the paint, I used Bears Premium Plus Ultra. It's a paint and primer in one and I used the eggshell finish. I ended up getting five colors. I got a white, I got a slightly larger can, a light pink that I did the outside of the house. And then I chose an aqua color for some of the interiors and baby blue and white. So I ended up getting the bigger can of white because I'm gonna be doing all of the trim in white. And some of the paint was a little on the thicker side. So I found this stuff called Flow Troll. You, you can get this at any hardware store. This works fantastic. It kind of opens up the drying time and it helps eliminate the brush stroke. So I was very grateful to find that. Anyways, take a look into the sanding and painting process. Oh my gosh, I feel exhausted just watching that. Anyways, thank you for watching my, what might be like a 57 part series on building a dollhouse. Again, this kit is the Beach House Bungalow by Real Good Toys. I'm liking how all the pieces are fitting together. Some of them are MDF, some of them are wood. Uh, I think this is gonna be a good long-term project. So we'll see how long this takes me. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to The Sewing Report for everything sewing crafts and DIY projects. I'll see you guys next time. Bing, bing.